if you're out of memory on your phone, here's something you can do to free it up. First thing you want to do is go to your apps. So go to your settings and then your apps. Then go to sort by size. And with mine, it sorts from top to bottom. So you can see some of the apps that take up a huge amount of space. What you want to do, I've already done some of these at the top, but you want to go down each one of them, starting from the top, presumably. Click on it, and then you'll see storage right there. In this case, Word, 331 megabytes used in internal storage. You want to click on that. And on a lot of them, you can see an option to change it to from internal to external. So this is where you want to have a SD card. If you don't have one, if you have a uh, device that has a removable external SD memory card, this is what you want. So you get one that has a lot of memory, and then you can offload lots of these apps onto that card rather than your internal memory on your phone, which is maxed out and has a limit. So you go to change, select SD card, and then move. Now, depending on the size of the app, it's going to take, you know, it could take 15 seconds. It could take a full minute. So just be patient as it counts through and it'll get towards the end. Give it a second here. And of course, don't do anything with the phone until it's done with that transfer. Okay, it's done. So then you just keep going down the list and so on and so forth. But one thing you'll see, for instance, um, I think something like uh, Outlook. No, that's, yeah, internal, yeah. If you look at Outlook, for instance, <clears throat> you go on there, you don't see any option to move the app and that's the case with many of them you'll find and I, <clears throat> I suppose it's just built into the programming where they default to the internal storage of the device and it does not allow an option to move the app to external storage so those it looks like you're stuck with there um, the rest of them just go through them one by one starting at the top with the the big space hogs and that'll free up tons and tons gigs you know hundreds of megs of memory the other key issue here is I've found that over time as these apps self-update, they seem to revert back to their original setting, which in a lot of cases, or all, I think all cases, is the internal memory of the phone. So if you notice any performance issues or, you know, you've done this and then, you know, a week later or a month later, your memory's hogged up again, we'll go back in here and do this again with some of the, the large ones. Um, so it's kind of a constant battle over time as these apps update, but I, I find that I only have to do it, you know, maybe once a month or something and it, and it frees up enough. Hope this helps. Thanks. Have a good one.